Three local pastors came together to hold a rally to help fight against gun violence today. Ministers from Ephesus SDA Church, Zion Hope Missionary Baptist Church, and St. Paul Lutheran Church were involved in that planning. The rally also remembered Reigns High School football player Rashad Fields. He was the teen who was killed just hours after graduating last year in May. News for Jack's reporter Alicia Hatcher joins us live in the studio tonight. Alicia, you spoke with one of the pastors leading today's rally. I did. He says he sees how the impact of gun violence affects children and wants to stop the violence in the community. Three local ministers hosted a rally to stop the gun violence at Stand Up Against the Violence rally. People heard inspirational messages, music selections, and more. Zion Hope Missionary Baptist Church Pastor Glenn Foreman Jr. says they want to bring awareness to the community that churches are there for them. I see these young people every day and I see the impact that it has when they lose a classmate and the impact that that has and seeing parents uh, mourn over their children when it should be kind of the opposite where we should be bearing our parents and not parents bearing their children. They also remember Reigns High School football player Rashad Fields. Fields was shot and killed just hours after graduating high school at a graduation party. His family attorney, John Phillips, says the violence needs to stop. And we've had so many murders, over a thousand murders in seven years. Rashad Fields is the one we're spotlighting today. And his family's been through so much. But he was shot just hours after graduation, you know, going to a graduation party. And Jacksonville's killing each other for... for just the worst reasons. He also spoke about the latest in Phil's case. We're supposed to meet with, with State Attorney Melissa Nelson here in the next couple of weeks. They are linking multiple cases uh, and trying to find the person who, who did it, but there's still, as far as we know today, been no arrest of, of Rashad Fields' killer. At this time, no arrest has been made in Rashad Phil's case. There is still a $13,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest in this case. In the studio, Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station.